Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just coming through with another update. Uh, just something real quick. I haven't got the uh, that one beat quite done yet because my friend hasn't came through to the studio to record. Um, outside of that, um, I got other things in the working right now. I'm just working on a lot of things. So it's kind of an update on the music. Um, as far as like the stream goes, I apologize for not being able to do it this week. Um, just been real sick with the bronchitis. Still haven't got a chance to go to the hospital. Just so many life things are getting in the way that I have to take care of. So, uh, um, hopefully I'll be able to go to the hospital next week, um, before it gets too bad. Um, aside from that, just keeping on, keeping on. Um, really it's just, uh. <laughs> matter of uh, getting things done I'm still adjusting to my new position at work so that's pretty cool um, aside from that like I said it's just a matter of keeping on keeping on um, girls haven't really talked to a whole lot of girls lately haven't talked to any girls really oh not recently um, it's been a couple days anyway at least um aside from that it's just don't really think about it too much um like i guess i just kind of look at it this way like if a girl's gonna like me then she's gonna like me for the the way I am right now not when I'm at my best um, so you know it's like when I improve and I get to my best if I start attracting girls it's gonna be a, a whole different mindset because it's like the, it's, the thing is it's, it's gonna be conditional at that point and for me I don't know if I'm gonna be able to how do I say this sustain that level of uh, of uh, alphaness if you will um, for uh, uh, especially for a long period of time um, so it's like once she sees through the facade it's pretty much over so just kind of accepting the situation the way it is because uh, one day <coughs> I may get successful and stuff, but if that success starts to fade off, then it's kind of like back to square one uh, because the love's conditional. Um, if if the only reason I can get a girl or the only time I can get a girl is when I'm successful, then for me that's not really not really what I'm trying to do, you know. So if I become successful, it's kind of like a, a set in stone type deal for me that I'm going to be single. Um, at least it'll be by choice at that point. Um, but right now, definitely not a active decision. Um, to be honest, though, like I said, I haven't been, really been thinking about it too much. So it just kind of is what it is. But, yeah, I just kind of wanted to dive into that route, you know. If I do uh, become somewhat successful in anything that I do going forward, and then girls start to like me after that, then, I don't know, I feel, I feel like when it's conditional like that, like it's just not going to last, you know. Because there's going to be times where I'm not successful, and is she going to like me then? You know, it's it's one of those things that makes you think about it. So, that's kind of my, my two cents on it. Um, so, why put yourself in a situation where she's going to be, you know, fucking around with other dudes and doing all that if you're not successful at some point? Uh, or she leaves you for, you know, your success starts to go down. It just it just kind of depend depends on a lot of different things, but for the most part, most girls are 
that date you when you're successful or because you're successful will more than likely leave you when that success starts to drop or um, things just they just aren't working out and you're not being you're not as productive as you were so <laughs> this is kind of my two cents on it um, not all girls are like that I'm not saying that they are this is just the type of girls that would only date me when I'm successful you know what I mean and that's not to say girls wouldn't date me I, I guess a good example is a girl that wouldn't date me now so would want to date me when I'm successful that would be some kind of red flag for me be like well you didn't want me before but now you want me now after I'm making six figures or something like that you know it'd be kind of like a red flag in my mind because I'd be like well she didn't want me before but now she wants me after I'm bringing home this the big dough so that's kind of questionable in my book um, just kind of like how the virgin thing would be questionable for most girls. Um, that's why I'm kind of trying to keep that low key. <coughs> I don't really tell a whole lot of people outside of the internet because, at least not anymore, because it's just not it's not something that that uh, it's not something that I'm really proud of, and also like. I'll just be real. It lowers your social value when people find that out about you. I'm just being 100% honest with it. People look down on you for it. Just the way it is. So it's better just to sweep that shit under the rug and just forget about it. Um, aside from that, like I said, uh, I have nothing against women. I'm not a woman hater. I just wouldn't date a girl who would turn me down in my current state but accept me. If I'm making like six figures or something like that, it's just that's just the way I feel about it, you know. Because uh, I know that shit would end as soon as that six figures goes down. There goes the relationship, and um, like I said, not all not a, not all girls are like that, um, but some girls are, and um, I notice the red flags sometimes. Um, not necessarily for myself, but for other people, uh, I've seen them, uh, get into positions where they're making a little bit extra money and all these girls start coming around that wouldn't fuck with them before. And it's just, I don't know. I just stay away from it. And then, then you have to worry about a girl trying to manipulate a situation or connive her way into your bank um, with manipulation tactics and getting the law involved but um, that's a whole nother topic those are that's a whole n new breed of bitch if you will because that's what they are essentially if they're trying to manipulate a situation to get money out of you then yeah that's a, that's kind of a bitch move so I, w I so I'm, I'm trying to be careful with what I do going forward. <coughs> Especially with the new job promotion and stuff. Um, I'm not making six figures, by the way. It's um, nowhere, near, nowhere near that much. But I'm um, definitely an upgrade from where I was. Um, so I'm just... Like, I'm, I'm heading towards that direction, though. I'm on that upswing. So I definitely could see myself getting six figures sometime in the next five years uh, looking like a real possibility at this point so that's why I'm keeping my eyes open now because I don't want to get fucked later um, but yeah other than that <coughs> just kinda wanted to dive into that topic there um, just uh, cuz I know a lot of you guys are probably see the same shit that I do and maybe y'all can relate maybe you can't I don't know but that's just something I wanted to get off my mind um, and kind of uh, if I ever need to look back at a video or something and be like and I start letting the the money or the fame or anything get to my head 
um, I can look back to this video and be like, we got to play smart, man. Because not all people out here are looking at your best interest. So be careful with that. Um, and aside from that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Uh, good day. Good weekend. I guess today is Friday, so I should say have a good weekend. And then a good next week. <coughs> Definitely need to look into getting this cough fixed, though. Uh, it's like six months now. Um, it's just now getting to a point where I can't breathe and shit, so... I'm getting kind of hard to spit my verses uh, and talk at work and shit without coughing every fucking five seconds. Uh, but anyways, like I said, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.